Here it is, uh, nearly complete. The uh, 383 for my 82 Chevy K10 pickup. I'll kind of go over some of the details here. So it's an 880 block out of a 95 Suburban, two bolt main, 350 block. Uh, I use scat rotating, rotating assembly to make it a 383. It's got a 30 thousandths overbore. Obviously, I had a balance. It's got the Keith Black Claimer Hyper Pistons, flat top with two valve reliefs. It's got the GM 492 double hump 202 160 heads. It's got a Comp Cams hydraulic roller, a pretty mild one uh, since this is going in my four wheel drive truck. It's got LS. Beehive style valve springs, roller tip rockers, uh, comp cams, hardened push rods, screw in studs, guide plates. I used a cheap uh, Summit Racing oil pan, which seems to fit okay. We'll see if it leaks. Felpro gaskets for the most part. I used GM head gaskets. I used a Mylodon front cover. As you can see, the color matches the pan pretty well. I'm trying to make this thing look like it belongs in an A2 Chevy. I didn't, I didn't want it to be black or have center bolt valve covers, anything like that. Nothing wrong with those things. I just want it to fit the truck because everything on the truck is vintage. I used a GM Marine high-rise cast iron intake manifold. It's They say it's a copy of the old LT1 Z28 manifold uh, and it's close but it also has uh, accommodations for a uh, spread bore carburetor and dual bolt pattern. The runners on this thing are giant and luckily the heads were already ported so they actually the intake ports matched up pretty well with the ports in the head. If you were putting this intake on a completely stock engine the ports in the intake will be larger than the intake ports in the head, so I would not recommend that. But it worked out good for this setup. I'll be running a mechanical fuel pump. That's why I use this block. It's got the provision for it. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'll sh show you a couple things on the engine here real fast. As you can see, I soft put the bolt in the damper. I gotta wait till I pull the 305 out of the truck to steal the pulley and bolt all that up. Here's the pad for the mechanical fuel pump. I have a uh, actually a Jegs brand push rod in there that's got a bronze tip on it for the roller cam. And once again, I'll, I'll just take the fuel pump off the 305 because it was replaced not that long ago. Here's a better view of the intake. There's the double flange. I'm going to run a quadrajet on this because it's already on the truck and I uh, prefer that for off-roading versus a holly, which is what this truck is for. Once I get this thing on the hoist, I'll bolt up the flywheel. This is going to be backed by an SM465 with a 12 inch clutch. Still have to put the distributor in. I was going to use a set of vintage Mickey Thompson valve covers. I had bought a swap meet. Unfortunately, I cracked one of the cow customs on my Chevelle and had to put the Mickey Thompsons on that. So I'm still debating on what to put on. I got a few sets laying around. so. I'll get those bolted up in the next couple days. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, this is the 383, and uh, thanks for watching. One thing I forgot to show you. On the boss for the mechanical fuel pump from the factory 
on the top right corner of that boss, uh, there's a large protruding piece of iron there. And I just took a cutoff wheel and cut off the corner of it so it's not a big sharp edge there. Um, if you have one of these blocks, you can go look at it and see what I mean. But basically I made this block look a little more like the old vintage blocks and it just doesn't have that big protrusion there. So uh, it's kind of cosmetic. Uh, also, it's just a sharp edge there. And I got rid of it. Anyway, thanks for watching.